Hi, this is Mike, Marketing Manager here at CDNFI. Now, the reason you've probably downloaded this video is because traffic spikes are causing your website or your application to crash, leaving you out of pocket and leaving your users feeling very frustrated. But don't worry, because help is at hand. In this presentation I prepared for you, I'm going to show you how to handle a traffic spike. So let's just say the worst case scenario has happened and your website or your app has crashed. The first thing you need to remember is not to panic. It could be a product launch that's picked up media retention or a piece of content you've produced that's gone viral. But all of a sudden you're having to cope with thousands of people hitting your site. One minute the sales are coming in and then disaster strikes. Suddenly you're in red alert mode as your server is grinding to a halt and your hosting provider is threatening to switch off your site. The important thing to remember is that no matter how infuriating your website crashing is for you, it's your users who will be feeling the most frustration. Quite simply, every single time your site goes down, it affects customer loyalty, reduces confidence in your product or your brand, and eats into your bottom line. Traffic spikes can be broken down into two types, those that we know about and those that we don't know about. The first of these is the product launch. These types of traffic spikes typically shoot up dramatically before slowly evening out to your normal levels over a few weeks or days. The other common type of traffic spike is the viral effect. It might be that your site gets featured on a site like Dig or a well-known celebrity tweets about your product. But suddenly, your servers are under increased pressure, your site slows to a snail's pace, and people are beginning to complain on Twitter. So, what looked like a blessing to start with is slowly beginning to be the exact opposite of that. Whilst this can sometimes be a one-off, if your team are doing their job properly, it will probably be happening quite often. Unlike product launches, these types of traffic spikes are typically much, much more difficult to predict and ultimately to protect yourself against. Every time you get a surge in traffic, you run the risk of getting your site suspended, causing downtime, frustration for your users and lost sales. Quite simply, let's face it, there's nothing worse than getting stung by large overage fees, especially on a regular basis. So what can you do? In most cases, your first port of call will be to contact your hosting provider, whose recommendation will no doubt to be upgrade your hardware or pay a large sum to get your site back online. Now, whilst implementing more powerful servers might seem like the obvious solution, if traffic spikes are regularly crashing your site and causing downtime, then upgrading your servers will actually have minimal impact. Basically, in the age of cloud computing, Adding additional expensive hardware really needn't be your first line of defense. Now, of course, we all want more traffic, but with a CDN in place, you can avoid this kind of catastrophe altogether and make traffic surges bringing down your site a thing of the past. So what is a CDN and how can it help you? A CDN or content delivery network works by caching a copy of your website or app's static content and distributes it over a network of geographically located servers. So these are things like images, HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Basically all the stuff that's in your site that makes it look brilliant but also makes it run quite slowly. These assets are then delivered to your users based on the location that's nearest to them. With a CDN in place, the threat of a server failure crippling your website or app is pretty much a thing of the past. Because content is distributed worldwide, in the very unlikely event that any of the servers in the network become overwhelmed, your users are automatically directed to the next available location. So, no matter where your visitors are based, your CDN will get your website and your website's content to them in the quickest way possible. It also means you're never going to suffer any downtime, regardless of how many people are trying to access your sites at any one time. 
from native apps to websites and blogs, a CDN can help regardless of what it is you're selling. If you're a SaaS company, every time you roll out new features and tell your customer base about them, you're going to be getting a surge in traffic. Or if people are downloading your app and software, they'll want that to happen in the fastest time possible. Basically, if you're selling any type of product online, you need a CDN. It doesn't really matter whether they're physical or digital products. Ultimately, it's about letting the customer make that transaction as quickly and as easily as possible whilst removing any friction that might lead to a lost sale. One thing's for sure, regardless of what you're selling, if your site or app is down when users try to access it, most people will have no qualms whatsoever about heading straight to your competitors. So not only does your site going down have a detrimental impact on your sales and conversion rate, it also severely impacts customer satisfaction and loyalty. If your users anticipate problems every time they try to access your site, they'll be considerably less likely to part with their hard-earned cash. And if it's happening on a regular basis, it will increase their negative perception of your brand or product. Quite frankly, three seconds is a lifetime on the internet. And of those 40% of people who are going to abandon your site or app, roughly half of them say they will not return. And even more worryingly than that, will tell others that they've had a negative experience. The worst case scenario when it comes to website crashes is that it severely damages your profitability. So ensuring your site or app has 100% availability is paramount for all website owners. If you run an e-commerce site, a SaaS product, or any type of service that requires you to make a sale, then the impact of downtime can be catastrophic to your bottom line. To put this into some sort of perspective, that 18% figure that you can see on screen equates to more than 3 billion in lost sales in the last year alone. Now, I don't know about you, but to me, that's a lot of money to be throwing away. And with 46% of people citing checkout speeds as the number one factor that determines whether or not they will return to a site or go elsewhere, making sure your site or product is the one they choose is absolutely paramount. I mean, I would say the common theme here is obviously that customers don't like to be kept waiting and they will have no hesitation in heading somewhere else. There's plenty of choice out there online. Or worse still, they'll head straight on over to Twitter and complain about you to their followers. So if you're airing an ad during Super Bowl Sunday that prompts millions of people to visit your site at any one time, you would imagine that you probably thought a lot of things through. Especially if you're a brand the size of Coke or SodaStream. You know, they've got a pretty big marketing team. I assume they've probably got huge budgets for this type of stuff. You know, so it's pretty shocking that even big brands with this amount of resources can still be the victims of traffic spikes. You know, and what I would say to you is basically just don't get caught out like this because social platforms like Twitter and review sites like Trustpilot and SiteJabber are just absolutely full of scathing reviews of companies whose websites have failed. Now, from my own personal experience, I know how embarrassing it can actually be when your website goes down. So prior to CDNFI, I worked on a multi-platform project for the UK broadcaster Channel 4. We built a website to complement a TV show that they were running. When the presenters of the show told the viewers to head on over to the site, it crashed immediately. So that was 15 million very, very vocal TV viewers that we disappointed. So I would say my biggest takeaway from that experience was that you only really get one chance to make a good impression. And especially with social media, any negative form of sentiment towards your brand or your product is just going to be amplified. You know, and if you think back to some of those stats we talked about earlier, half of the people who end up on your site when it's down will definitely go on to tell someone else about it. But luckily, if you have a CDN in place, you can ensure availability no matter how much traffic is hitting your site or where those people are coming from. So to wrap up, if you're constantly being plagued by traffic spikes and server crashes and you want to say goodbye to overage fees, lost sales and downtime, then CDNify your app or website today. 
you can head on over to the website and get started straight away by picking the plan that's right for you. They come in a range of packages to suit all needs and includes lots of value adding features such as free custom SSL, which most other CDNs charge a premium for. Um, alternatively, if you want to speak to a traffic spike expert, then call the number on screen now and someone will be on hand to help you. So thanks very much and goodbye.